Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I will explain difference between a power diode and a signal diode. By looking at two figures, we can clearly see that the difference between power diode and signal diode is basically in its construction. In a signal diode, it is just a PN junction device which is made by combining P-type and N-type semiconductors. Whereas, if you look at power diode, then there is another layer called N minus layer. Let's look at why in power diode there is region called N minus. In power diode, N minus layer is provided to make diode suitable for high voltage and high current. N minus layer is lightly doped and is grown on heavily doped N plus layer. This N minus layer is not found in signal diodes. Also, a heavily doped P plus layer is diffused into N minus layer to form anode of power diode. The function of N minus layer is to absorb depletion layer of the reverse bias junction J1. The thickness of this N minus layer is decided by breakdown voltage. If breakdown voltage is high, then thickness will be high. Here, N minus layer is lightly doped or we can say it is nearly equal to intrinsic level. For those who don't know what is intrinsic semiconductor is that the semiconductor without doping or impurity is called intrinsic semiconductor. That's why sometimes this N minus layer is also called as I layer and power diode is known as PIN diode. Here N minus layer is nearly equal to intrinsic level so it adds a significant ohmic resistance to the diode when it is conducting in forward path. Let's take a quick look at some other aspects. Cost of signal diode are lower as compared to power diode. Voltage and current rating of signal diode are also lower than the power diode. Also operating temperature of pass signal diode is lower than the power diode and size of signal diode is also lower than the power diode. I hope you have find this video helpful. If you have any query in regards to this topic, then you can comment it down below. Also share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit that like button. For more educational videos like this, check out my channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future update. And if you are watching it on computer, then you can certainly find the name of topics. So click on them to go to that topic and if you are using mobile device then you will find these links in the description box. So that's it for now, we will meet in my next video.